we move on to a new topic central problems of an economy the basic central problems are as follows first is what to produce this implies whether to produce consumer goods or capital goods consumer goods are those which are directly consumed by individuals to add to their satisfaction level whereas capital goods are those which create satisfaction that is they help in the production of consumer goods next is how to produce this states the mode of production either to produce using more labor that is labor intensive technology or more capital that is capital intensive technology third is for whom to produce either for personal distributions that is for different individuals in a society or for functional distribution that is for different groups or factors of production like labor capital etc finally we have the problem of growth of resources every economy strives for growing in the dynamic world therefore it tries to expand the resources available so when we have discussed the central problems considering the production aspect it's important we learn about the production possibility curve it is also known as the transforming curve why transforming curve because it tells the different combinations of goods which can be produced with the given resources however there are certain assumptions while formulating the production possibility curve which are first resources are fully and efficiently utilized and second the technique of production remains constant overall the production possibility curve tells us the maximum production which can take place with the given resources and it looks like a concave downward sloping curve a production possibility curve can shift too if there is an increase in overall resources ppc would shift outwards whereas if there is a decrease in resources it will shift inwards towards the origin remember that the shift is parallel in nature also a ppc curve can rotate as well the reason is that if efficient technology is available for one good or the other however if efficient technology is introduced for both the goods then a shift in ppc would take place diagrammatically if we say that efficient technology is introduced for cloth keeping the point on y axis constant ppc would move further away so overall the properties of ppc curve are it is a downward sloping curve and it is concave to the origin therefore the concave nature of ppc implies that the opportunity cost is increasing that is to produce each successive unit of cloth you are giving up more and more units of wheat which could be produced however we have a case of decreasing opportunity cost as well in which ppc is convex to the origin and constant opportunity cost curve where ppc is a downward sloping linear line this was a brief explanation for the concept of central problems of an economy if you have any questions feel free to contact us you may visit our website www.economicsharbor.com or email us at admin@economicsharbor.com thank you and take care